Hello everyone, Welchie here and welcome back to Welchie's Wednesday Weekly. This is the show where I talk about the latest news in gaming, talk about what I've been up to in the last week in terms of my YouTube channel and whatnot. I reveal the top comment of the week and I talk about upcoming videos and stuff on my channel and I also ask you guys to participate in a poll vote. So without further ado, let's go ahead into the news. Sony are expecting that PlayStation 4 sales are still on the rise, anticipating 20 million copies to be shipped during the fiscal year ending March 31st, 2017. If they can hit this target, it would bring the PS4 user base up to 60 million, with a target of 20 million effectively growing adoption by 50% in the year. Sticking with the theme of sales, Grand Theft Auto V continues to sell at an impressive clip. Take Two says that it has sold 5 million units in its, its fourth quarter of the fiscal year. In February, the publisher reported they had shipped 60 million copies. That number is now 65 million. Rockstar also claimed that in-game purchases are still continuing, to, continuing at a steady rate and bringing in a much better revenue than expected. So that's 60 million, 65 million copies of Grand Theft Auto V, although that is over four different consoles. However, that is still a very impressive number. Xbox One Rocket League players can now have a larger pool of potential competitors. As Personics, the developers of Rocket League, have announced that cross-platform play arrived yesterday, Tuesday the 24th of May, so they can now play off against PC gamers. The PS4 version has supported cross-platform play since the launch, so this opens the door for truly, truly open competition between these consoles, Xbox and PS4. However, there's still no talk of them being able to play against each other. Okay, now this is my favourite news story of the week. Sony has announced that Uncharted 4 is its fastest selling first party PlayStation 4 game in North America. The company has sold, sold a staggering 2.7 million copies in North America in the first week of release. This includes both retail copies and bought ones that are bought off the PlayStation Store. So in comparison, Naughty Dog's last game, The Last of Us, sold 3.4 million copies in three weeks. So just imagine the numbers that Uncharted 4 have after three weeks if they've already done 2.7 million within one week. And finally, the heavily rumoured Batman Re Return to Arkham has finally been revealed. Batman Return to Arkham is a collection featuring both Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, the first two games in the excellent Batman Arkham trilogy, which will arrive on Xbox One and PS4 in July. Both games have been remastered using Unreal Engine 4, whilst the original games were created in Unreal Engine 3, and they will feature all content from the Game of the Year editions. Okay, so what have I been up to this week? That's the end of the news. What have I been up to this week? So recording-wise, I've been pretty busy, actually. I've been doing a lot of recording. been a big grind for YouTube. I go through these phases I do. I go through a big phase of recording loads of videos. Then I, then I know I'm gonna, about to go through my phase of editing and rendering those videos. And then there'll be a phase, because I've got so many videos stored, I just don't for a while. So this is my phase where I've recorded a lot, and I've recorded a lot of Uncharted 4, um, multiplayer, obviously my, we'll go on to other stuff later. Super Meat Boy, I've got some Super Meat Boy videos recorded, and I'll discuss that again later. Tropico 5, which is interesting, and obviously my Flashback Friday episodes, and um, I've recorded a couple of weeks in advance. Um, streaming wise, I've been streaming again as often as possible. Um, Uncharted 4, multiplayer, now that I've finished the single player, I've been streaming the multiplayer, which has been a lot of fun. FIFA 16, my most popular game on Twitch, I get the most followers from that, and my, my followers and viewers seem to enjoy watching that the most from me, probably because I suck. <laughs> um, I actually got a really cool clip coming on my YouTube channel, a couple of clips actually, from my streams coming onto my YouTube channel, and I streamed a bit of Until Dawn the other, di other night, um, we decided to swap, stop playing FIFA and play another game, Until Dawn won the vote, and everyone left because they got scared, <laughs> but we streamed a bit, little bit of that, and I do plan on carrying on that stream until dawn and finishing my second playthrough of that game on stream. Um, but other than that, what have I been playing just on my own? Uncharted 4. Uncharted 4 multiplayer is pretty much all I play at the moment, like when I'm not recording or streaming, um, because it's so fun, so good, and it, as that new story said, it sold so many copies and I can fully understand why. Okay, moving on to comment of the week, and this was a late entry from Bashy Games yesterday. He's won again. After Andy White won two weeks on the trot, Bashy Games is back on top. His comment was, Gordon Ramsay would be proud of the amount of swearing in this. Good video, man. And that was from my video on Monday called I Am Tarzan, which was Uncharted 4 multiplayer. 
Um, I really like that comment because I've had quite a few people tell me that um, in that video I swear a lot. And, and I know I I didn't even know I was doing it. I do need to cut down. Um, but as long as you guys found it entertaining, I guess, then that's the main thing. But yeah, that made, that comment made me laugh. And that is definitely comment of the week. So congratulations, Bashi. Okay, so upcoming videos and games and stuff is what I want to talk about the most today. Um, Video-wise, we've got Uncharted 4 videos. So like the one I had where I am Tarzan, I've got some more of those coming. Um, Flashback Friday, of course, will be here this Friday. Hopefully some more FIFA this week, if not next. Gears 4 videos will keep coming. I'm running out of them, um, but I've got a couple left, so I'm going to try and keep them going as long as I can. Um, Super Meat Boy videos are coming. Tropico 5 videos coming. And that's what I want to talk about. So basically, as I said, my Uncharted 4 video, I Am Tarzan, is a new style of video I was trying out. If you remember the last, I think the last two weeks actually, of my World Chew Wednesday Weekly, I discussed that I wanted to stop doing series. So I wanted to stop doing my episode 4, episode 12, episode, you know what I mean? Like, boring, boring episodes where it's just a slow, it's not that entertaining, I didn't think. I didn't think my videos were entertaining, make people laugh, people enjoy them that much. Um, I'm trying to make them funnier, I'm trying to make them more entertaining. I'm trying to make them shorter, because a lot of my series episodes were quite long, like 15 minutes and stuff, um, and I know they can be shorter, and I know people will enjoy them if they're a little bit shorter. Around 10 minutes, I think 10 minutes is a decent time for a video. Um, I know my Uncharted one was about 3 or 4 minutes, um, but from between 5 and 10 minutes I think it's a decent length for a video, because it's not too long, and obviously not too short. Um, and that's what I'm going for, like highlight videos, stuff like that. Um, I took a lot of inspiration, by the way, I'm not claiming that it's my idea, a lot of inspiration from C Nanas and Sark and Hutch. Then, well, Hutch actually does a bit more, not long videos, but not really highlights, they're more like concrete videos. Um, but they're very entertaining. C Nanas and Sark, are, those three are my three favourites. They always will be on YouTube. I took a lot of inspiration from them with my new kind of videos. And um, hopefully... You might, it might sound silly, but I think you're going to really enjoy the Super Meat Boy videos. Um, if you see it pop up in your subscription box, even if you don't like the game or never heard of the game and don't want to watch it, just please give it a chance because I think you'll enjoy those videos. Um, Tropico 5, I have no idea what you guys are going to think of that. Um, with that one, it's almost because I'm going to be playing that and recording that, but it'll be a highlights video and it won't be a let's play as such as it's be live, so 1, episode 2, episode 3, episode 4 sort of thing. It'd be more. This is what's happening on my island. Because you'll, you'll, you'll understand more once you see me play it. Um, it's a free game, by the way, on PlayStation Store. But go and check it out if I was you. Um, it'll run out soon because it's almost the end of May. Um, and obviously, yes, yeah, so that's a new style of video I'm going for. And it, I'm going to do it for as many games as I can, really. I'm not trying to be a channel with one game. So like at, there was a time when it looked like I was just COD, then it goes just Gears, then it, just FIFA or just NBA. I want it to be just a fun... Me having fun on so many different games and hopefully your guys will enjoy that um, as much as I enjoy playing them because I'm enjoying it more now doing it the way I'm doing it than I was when I felt shit I need to do like five more episodes of the NBA series so I wasn't going to run out I didn't like I liked it at the time but looking back it wasn't a good good way of doing things um, and it stopped me playing some games it stopped me playing NBA because I just thought I can't play it because I need to record it I just shouldn't be like that but um, in terms of upcoming games, so Overwatch is now out, and I really can't decide if I want it or not. Um, obviously, I've got a poll vote coming at the end of the game, but also let me know in here, should I get Overwatch? Should I not? Should I get it? Should I not? I don't know. It looks good, but it doesn't look good at the same time. Everyone's raving about it, and then there's also people not raving about it. I don't know what to do. It looks cool, but it doesn't look cool. I don't know. Um, I'm going to keep watching a few more streams, but I can't decide if I want it or not, and I, I, don't, I don't know. Um... Doom is also out. I doubt I'll get that until it gets cheaper. Um, but we do have Mirror's Edge coming out soon. Probably not going to get that. Um, I imagine I won't. Well, at first, anyway, not a release day. But we've got No Man's Sky coming out next month, which I 100% will be getting without a shadow of a doubt. I am getting No Man's Sky. Cannot wait for that game. Um, and then, obviously, E3 is coming up, so we're going to get I'm going to have loads of videos by free time, guys. Um, we'll think, so next week, will it be next week? Yeah, next week's Wednesday, Wolchie's Wednesday Weekly will pretty much be a E3 special, like E3 look-ahead special. Um, 
and then after the one after once E3 is done, will it be like a, almost this will be like a E3 review. So the next two weeks or Watch Wednesday really are going to be pretty fucking cool, um, especially the one after E3. Imagine the news week I'm going to have on that one. Probably going to have to have more than five news stories. <laughs> Um, that's going to be so cool. So they're going to announce loads of new games. So next week I'm going to talk about what I want to see and stuff, blah, 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 blah. Um, and yeah, so basically it's coming to June, July where games slow down a bit. And then all of a sudden when we get to around September, we're going to have FIFA's coming out, Madden, NBA's coming out, Gears of War coming out quicker than we realise, Call of Duty coming out quicker than we realise. Um, so I'm just having a look at my games over there. I'm sure a new Halo will be in, be announced because that's been out for a while now. All the PlayStation VR stuff's going to be announced, which I won't be getting. But and I am praying Last of Us Two gets announced. But anyway, that's for next week. Uh, and that's all I've got for that. Okay, so this week poll vote. Actually, before we do that, we've got to go to last week's poll vote. So last week I asked you who is your favourite video game character of all time, and I've started to realise now I've seen the results that it's probably a bad question when you can only ask for four on Twitter poll votes so what i might actually start doing is for, uh, there's a website i can't remember the website name but there's a website where you can run polls with like as many options as you want and i'll link that on twitter and i'll link that in here in the comments so you can go and vote on there instead of twi twitter so you've got a larger selection of things you can vote for rather than four things and um, that's something i'm definitely looking into not this week or next or it will be coming soon um but for your favorite video game character i gave you the options of nathan drake master chief Super Mario or other, so you could let me know which one you wanted. Um, I had five people vote again, so I'm guessing it was five, same as last time, because I keep getting five votes. So thank you, everyone, who voted. And let's discuss the winner. So, three, three of you, or three um, characters got one vote each, and one got two votes. So there's a clear winner. The three with one vote each are Nathan Drake, Master Chief, and one vote for other, which means... Um, I think it's Bashy Games voted for Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War series, which means that with two votes, the winner was Super Mario. And I, I didn't put him there because I thought I need some sort of random character, and he won. So I don't know if you guys are trolling me, but you Super Mario is not the best video car game character of all time. Yes, he's a classic game, but in terms of storyline, come on, guys. Maybe he is everyone's favourite. He's definitely the favourite between you five, but I, I personally wasn't expecting that. I was expecting... Honestly, Master Chief, but I guess I don't have many Halo fans in my viewers. Um, but yeah, that's last week's poll vote. Thank you everyone for voting. And as I said, next time or in the future, I plan to get a bigger selection. Um, but for now, this week's poll vote. I want to know what is your favourite genre of video game? So this, is, this, should, this should be an interesting one. Um, I'm giving you three options and then an option of other as well. So if, you, if it's not on the list, then please let me know on Twitter or on YouTube. So the options are first-person shooters, horror, sports, or other. So there you are, guys. Go and vote on Twitter or in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite genre of video games is. For those of you who might not know what first-person shooter is, but I'm guessing the majority of the world does, a first-person shooter is a game like Call of Duty, a game like Halo. Um, Gears of War is not first-person, that is third. I'm asking if it's first-person, horror, or sports. If it is third person, if it is something like Gears of War, or, oh, come on, let's name another third person shooter quickly, Uncharted, I can't forget that, then let me know that in the other section. So you've got first person shooter, horror, sports, or other. Let me know, guys, we'll discuss it next week. Okay, so that's going to do it for this week's video. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. As I said, next week and the week after will pretty much be E3 special. So really excited about that. I hope you guys are too. Thanks for watching, thanks for participating in last week's poll vote, and I hope you participate in this week's, and I'll see you guys next week.